Hello everybody, I'm Sharp and Blade, and today we're going to take a look at the Civivi Mini Asticus. Now, the quality may not be fantastic on this. I'm using my front-facing camera on my phone instead of the proper camera, but this is just going to help me line things up. Uh, if things do look a little fuzzy or a little grainy, I will do uh, proper filming of of it of the knife when I do the size comparisons and specs at the end of the video so uh, I think it's gonna look okay but if not bear with me now this <laughs> like I previously stated is the is the mini Asticus now I had the full-size Asticus um, last year but I sold it because it was too big so well not just too big I wasn't using it because it was too big and also because it was too pretty. I didn't want to mess up the Damascus blade. Not that I probably would have, but I just didn't find myself using it. But this is a much nicer size for EDC purposes, and I'm not as afraid of messing it up. I've cut cardboard with this. Uh, I don't know if... You can kind of see near the tip, a little bit of marking. You know, here and there. But the coating... It's not really even, a, well it's a coating and then it's kind of stonewashed, so it's like a black stone wash on it. Uh, but it's held up very well. There's nothing, there's no rub off or anything like that. It looks good. Excellent. It's got that wood, <laughs> got the wood handles. I'm not even going to try to butcher that, how to, I don't know, actually, you know what, I'm going to try. Let's see, I'm going to see how it's spelled. Choi Borcia. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, it's wood. So, now, I got this from Integrity Knives. I don't have any other stickers out. Just a second here. I got this from Integrity Knives. You can also get this knife from Integrity Knives. Uh, not this version. But why am I so far away now? You can't get this version. Because it's sold out right now. You can get it eventually, but it's just not right now. But they do have the natural G10 available, and they do have the black, like, hand-rubbed brass version available still. So, the natural G10 is $85. Yeah, $85. This one's $95, and then the brass version is $100. But, at Integrity Knives, you can use discount code SHARPENBLADE to receive 10% off the order of a knife or any knives your whole order whatever <laughs> it's a 10 percent discount so uh yeah and when you use it it helps support the channel and if you don't want to use it that's cool too but anyways there'll be a link to integrity knives website in the description of this video now onto the knife it has kind of a drop point looking blade shape with a nice little swedge up here it's a hollow grind, so it's nice and slicey. It works great on cardboard. Um, and like I said before, it has a black stone wash finish to it. The other two versions uh, that Integrity Knives have, that Integrity Knives have, <laughs> is the satin finish. So this one comes with the black. I don't normally like a black blade, but I, I like this version, so I, that's why I got it. Oh yes, and the blade steel is, no, I don't have much, I think that, well, this is the first knife I've ever had with this blade steel, but uh, I haven't heard much about it or seen much about it, but it's their, their, it's, I wouldn't say it's their steel, I shouldn't say it's their steel, but it is 10CR15COMOV, did I get that right? It's on... Yes, 10CR15COMOV. <laughs> Trying to say that 10 times fast. Like I say, it works really well. It's nice and slicey. It came very sharp out of the box. Works very well for cardboard. Uh, you have kind of a slight finger choil right here. It's pretty much just a sharpening choil, but you can choke up a little bit. You gotta be careful, but you can choke up a little bit there. Um, 
you don't really need to. I didn't really find myself feeling like I was too far back from the blade. It felt pretty nice in hand. Kind of get into ergos, so I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, overall, though, it's a very attractive blade style. And it works well. So, can't ask for more than that. Now, there's no jimping of any kind on this except for on the flipper tab. So, you know, I would kind of classify this as a gentleman's folder anyways. So, it's, you know, jimping's not necessarily expected on a gentleman's folder. So, you know. <laughs> now the handle like I say it's that wood and it's very nice looking it's got like a smooth you can feel a little tiny tiny texture to it just mostly like the clear uh, the clear coat that they put on it that gives you that little feeling of it and the fact it's wood but it's it doesn't have a texture it just you can feel a slight texture to it if that makes sense at all <laughs> um but it feels, it feels nice, it looks nice. You can kind of see there's a slight shine to the wood, but it's not super shiny, it doesn't look cheap. I find if you get a really shiny finish on wood, it can look a little gas station-y sometimes. But this looks nice, it's got that matte, kind of low luster, a nice, nice finish to it. Now, the, I'll close this up so I don't hurt myself. It's all black. <laughs> it's all black. Let's see if I can. Um, it's out. Is it gonna... Everything's black except for this little area right here that the lanyard goes in. At least you can't see the lanyard hole when you look at the knife. Everything else is black though. The hardware is all black. <laughs> the liners are black. They're skeletonized quite well. On um, both, you can't see it as, super, as easily. You can kind of just see a little bit, but yeah, they skeletonized the heck out of this. So it, uh, it's, it's not super light, but it's pretty light for the size. It's got a nice, a nice weight to it. Now it's got a deep carry, a deep carry clip on it. The clip itself isn't recessed, but the screws are. So the, the screws are, so that's, can't complain about that. Um, it work, It slips in and out of the pocket very well. I even uh, carried this when I had fairly reinforced pockets on my pants, and it slipped in and out of that easily. So it's good to go. Uh, it's got all T8 hardware on it, except for the pocket clip screws, of course. Uh, and speaking of that, you just have that screw, and then your pivot. It's a very clean. If they didn't have to worry about left-handed people, then they <laughs> uh, then they could have had an extremely clean looking, but they just have that one little hole there for so you can flip the pocket clip over. But yeah, that's all you have holding the knife together. It's very simple uh, architecture. <laughs> very simple design. It's, uh, it's very nice. They did an excellent job on it. Now, the action is extremely snappy. Uh, the detent is a little bit, so if like a perfect detent is in the center here, and this is like way too strong of a detent, and this is way too weak of a detent, it's slightly towards the stronger detent. It's a slightly strong detent. I would rather have a detent a little too strong, not that this is too strong, but a little stronger than a little weaker. Weak detent sucks. So... It's a stronger detent than I would normally expect on a flipper, but at least it gives a snappy action. So, can't complain about the action. Very solid action. And it's on bearings. <laughs> I've been flipping it off camera, sorry. Uh, it's on bearings. So it's very smooth. One thing that's a slight nitpick, it's a little annoying, is when you open the blade, and then I'm going to see if, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. When you go to open the blade, because it is a stronger detent, uh, and because you have to press a little bit harder, it's not that bad. I'm just talking like a tiny little bit harder. 
it moves the pocket clip a little bit. Now, pocket clips, especially this type of a pocket clip, you know, the bent pocket clip, they have a little bit of a wiggle to them. Now, you normally don't notice that because you don't really hear it, but on this, where's the microphone on this? You can hear it. So, I don't know if I'm just a little whatever about it, but whenever I go to open the knife and whenever I let go of the, because I use, I use my fingers on the pocket clip, which I'm sure most people do, and it kind of moves the pocket clip a little bit. Whenever I release the tension on that, you can hear the pocket clip move. And that just kind of annoys me slightly. It's not really that big of a deal, but it does annoy me slightly. So, just thought I'd mention that. Now, ergos. This is a pretty neutral handle. It's just got a, basically just a little curve to it. So it fills the hand nice. Um, it's not super, like, what would you call it? It's thin this way. It's a little narrow. It's not an overly, like, huge knife by any means. But that's what they're going for. They're, it's called the Mini. That's what they're going for. <laughs> but, um... Because it is curved, it does help fill the hand nicely, and it does feel really nice in hand. So you get a nice solid grip, because like I mentioned before, since there's no uh, jimping on it, the handle provides a nice grip, and you don't have to worry about the fact that there's no jimping. Now the pocket clip does not give me a hot spot at all. Now if you, if you use your knives really hard, or if you have different hands than me, which I'm guessing you would. <laughs> you might find it to be a hot, hot spot. I don't know, because you can feel the pocket clip for sure. But it's for me, it's not a hot spot. So the ergos are great. The action is great. The design is great. It's a really nice, solid offering from Civivi. So let's head over to the tabletop for some size comparisons and some specs. So here are some specs. And we'll do some size comparisons. So we have the RAT Model 2 and Model 1. falls nicely between both of those so it's a nice size knife I always say that I guess all knives are nice size knives to me and I put all my Civivis away of course and oh, I might as well give you guys a little treat here I'm gonna open up my vault case I have my Civivis in, and we're gonna pick a Civivi. Let's see. I'll uh, do this one. Hey, get out of there. It's easier that way. And this one. Oh, sorry, hit the camera. Put that up there. Okay. So, this is it against the riffle. I still haven't done a review on my Grishash. And this is it against the Brazen. So it's slightly smaller. Handle size is very comparable to the Riffle, but it's got a little bit longer of a blade, and then it's just smaller in general in both the blade and the handle than the Brazen. All right. Well, that should do it for the video on the Civivi Mini Asticus. If you clicked on this video for jokes about the name, I'm sorry, there's not many jokes to do with the name because those jokes have been done a lot. So I figured people are just tired of them. <laughs> I kind of hinted at them a little bit at the first there, but no, I, I decided not to. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching the video. Take care.